welcome to the 27th part of microcontroller architecture and programming that is interfacing stepper motor with 805n so what is stepper motor a stepper motor is a widely used device that translates electrical pulses into mechanical movements and stepper motor have a permanent magnet that is called as a rotor or called as a shaft surrounded by the uh, stator as shown in figure so here is the uh, this four stators are given and this is nothing but the shaft or a rotor this is the permanent magnet it has a four stator windings that are paired with a center tapped common rotor as shown in this second figure and this is known as the four phase or a unipolar stepper motor so there are a number of applications of a stepper motor disk drive dot matrix printers or it can be used in a robotics or position control in uh, various uh, equipments or the processes or many more applications are there so these are the different types of a stepper motors bipolar uh, the stator coils or the bipolar motors where the stator coils uh, are they have common wire and the driving of this type of stepper motor is different and uh, complex whereas uh, in a unipolar we can take the center tapping of both the phase windings for a common ground or for a common power so this makes it easy to drive the motors there are many types of unipolar stepper motors we can use so here is the uh, unstable and stable position of a stepper motor is given so this is the permanent magnet that has the uh, north and south poles and here these are the coils and here this north poles of these two adjacent coils they will ripple this north pole north pole of this uh, rotor and this the uh, south pole of these two stators this will ripple this south pole of the uh, rotor so this will be unstable so for a stable position here this is the stable position where this south pole of this rotor that will be attracted by these two north poles and this north pole of this rotor will be attracted by this south pole of this two stator so this will find the stable position and rotor will always seek a stable position so there are two types of sequences are there full step and a half step sequence in the full step sequence two coils are energized at the same time and motor shaft rotates and the order in which coils has to be energized is given in the table in next slide so here is a single coil excitation so this is also called as a one phase on stepping or a wave stepping mode so in this mode only one terminal of a motor will be energized at any given time so this has a less a uh, number of steps and hence can achieve a full 360 degree rotation since number of steps are less current consumed by this method is also very low so here we can see that here for the uh, first step coil 4 is energized only so the rotor position is like this and this three coils coil 3 2 and 1 they are off for second step now coil 4 is off and coil 3 is on only so this rotor will rotate by 90 degree and this seeks the uh, stable position toward this stator for step 3 again coil 2 is on and all the other coils they will off so it will again move uh, by 90 degrees and seeks the stable position toward this energized coil for step 4 coil 4 3 2 they are off and only coil 1 is on so again this rotor uh, rotor will uh, align to this uh, stator which is energized and this will rotate by 90 degree so again if we energized coil 4 then it will complete one rotation so in this way uh, there are only four steps so it will complete one rotation for this four step so this is the another type where two coils they have uh, energized at the same time and this is called as the two phase on stepping so as the name uh, states in this method two phase will be on so it has the same number of steps as the wave stepping but since two coils are energized at a same uh, same time it can provide 
better torque and speed compared to the wave stepping mode but it consumes more power so here we can see that for, for step 1 coil 4 and coil 3 they have simultaneously energized and coil 2 and 1 they are off so this rotor it will move through uh, 45 degrees and with, uh, it achieves the stable position between these two coils for next state now coil 3 and 2 they are energized so it will move through this uh, again it will move uh, through 90 degrees and here it will seek the stable position for state 3 coil 2 and 1 energized so this rotor will move or seek the stable position between these two energized stators and for step 4 coil 4 and 1 they have energized so this will complete the one rotation again there are only four steps to complete the 360 degree angle now the half step sequence so motor step angle reduced to half the angle in full mode so the angular resolution is also increased that is it becomes double the angular resolution in a full mode also in a half mode sequence the number of steps gets double as that of a full mode half mode is usually preferred over a full mode and uh, the table in the next slide will show the pattern of energizing coil. So this half step mode is a combination of both one phase on and a two phase on modes. This combination will help us to get over the above mentioned disadvantage of the both the modes. And since it is combination of both the method, it will go through eight steps to go uh, to get a complete rotation. So here we can see the eight step sequences that is normal four step plus wave drive four step that is the combination of uh, one phase on and a two phase on motor methods so for step one coil four is energized so the status of this uh, or the position of this rotor is uh, straight and for step two coil four and coil three they have energized so this rotor will move through the 45 degrees Again for step 3, coil 3 is energized. So it will move through the 45 degree angle and seek the stable position toward this energized coil uh, stator that is 3. For step 4, coil 3 and coil 2 they have energized and this rotor will uh, rotate through 45 degrees and seek a stable position. For step uh, 5 here coil 2 is energized for next step coil 2 and 1 energized then coil 1 is energized and again coil 1 and 4 energized so in this way it will complete the 8 steps to complete one rotation so here we can see the uh, single coil excitation how the single uh, stator or the coil is energized and how this rot uh, rotor will rotate through this 360 degree angle this is the two coil excitation where two coils they have simultaneously energized and how this uh, rotor will rotate to complete the rotation and here is the interleaved single and a two coil excitation that means this is a half stepping uh, mode where uh, one and then two coils they have energized alternately and this rotor will uh, rotate through 45 degrees uh, steps angle and it will complete eight uh, steps to take uh, it will take to eight steps to complete one rotation so here we can uh, again explain the working of a stepper motor so here uh, these four windings they are uh, available and we have interconnected them this is called as the stators and this is the rotor that is a permanent magnet and that is called as a rotor so here we have interconnected these uh, windings so here we are finding the sequence that is used to rotate this stepper motor using the microcontroller so here this is the stable position of the uh, stepper motor or this permanent magnet or a rotor so this is the full step sequence that is one phase on we are finding the sequence for a one phase on stepper motor so if we energized 
coil A. Right? So, all the other coils they are off. So, the sequence for first step is 1, 0, 0, 0. Then, this 2 as we energized coil A. So, this uh, south pole or this uh, these two coils they have energized. So, the south pole and the north pole of these two coils they have activated and this south pole of this stator will at attract this north pole of a rotor and this north pole of this stator will attract the south pole of this rotor. So, the rotor position will be like this. After that, now we are de-energized coil A and energized coil B only. So, the sequence is as A is 0, C and D are 0 and B is 1. That means we are actually energizing uh, the coil B using this sequence. So, it is 0, 1, 0, 0. So, this south pole and north pole of this coils they are activated and now this rotor will rotate through uh, towards this energized coil. That means the north pole of this rotor will be attracted by the south pole and this north pole of this stator will attract the south pole of this rotor. So, the rotor will be rotated through 90 degrees. Now, the energized coil B and energized coil C only. So, the sequence is 0, 0, 1, 0. Now, the uh, position of this or the poles of this uh, coils will change as we energized the coil C. So, the uh, current direction will reverse. So, the poles of these two uh, coils they also reverse. So, here this north pole of this rotor will be attracted by this south pole and this south pole of a rotor will be attracted by this north pole. So, it will rotate again through 90 degree and now de-energized the coil C and energized the coil D only. So, the sequence is 0, 0, 0, 1. So, again here now the polarities of these two coils will change as this uh, we have energized the coil D. So, the current flows from D to P. So, it will change the polarities of these coils. So, this is now north pole will attract by this south pole and the south pole of this rotor will be attracted by the north pole of this stator. So, the rotor position will like this. So, here are the sequences that we find for a full, uh, full shape sequence that is the one phase on R8421. So, 1000 0, 0, 0 is nothing but 8, 0, 1, 0, 0 is nothing but 4, 0, 0, 1, 0 is 2 and 0, 0, 0, 1 is nothing but 1. If we again energized coil A, so it will again rotate. So, like that uh, we can find the sequence for the one phase on method. Now, for a full, uh, full step sequence but a two phase on to find the sequence. So, here for a full step sequence, two phase on means that uh, at a time we energize two coils. So, here first we have energizing coil A and B. So, the sequence is 1, 1, 0, 0. As the coil A and B, they have energized and C and D, they are off. So, the sequence is 1, 1, 0, 0. So, the poles, they have attracted. So, these poles, so these poles, uh, these two south poles of these two stators will attract the north pole. And this two north pole of these two stators will attract the south pole of this rotor. So, the stator position is like this. So, this will find the stable position. Then, in the next step, we de-energize coil A and now energize coil B and C. So, the sequence is 0, 1, 1, 0. Now, this, as we have energized this coil C, so the polarities of uh, poles, they have changed. Now, so, this will, two south poles, they will attract this north pole and these two north poles, they are attract the south pole of this rotor and the rotor will find the stable position. For step 3, now we have to energize coil C and D. So, the uh, sequence is 0, 0, 1, 1. So, energize coil C and uh, D. Now, as this uh, coil D is energized, so it will change the polarities and now this 
north pole will be attracted by these two south poles of stratus and this south pole will be attracted by these two north pole activated north pole so the position of rotor is like this so uh, for the fourth step now we have to energize coil d and a so the sequence is one zero zero one and now the rotor position is like this so it will complete the one rotation after this fourth step if we here is the sequence uh, for a two phase on that is a zero c c639 if we again energized coil a and b so it will again rotate to the next step so in this way we can rotate the stepper motor for a full step sequence for a two phase on in a two phase on method now for a half step sequence so in a half step uh, we have uh, used both one phase on and two phase on methods alternately so first energize coil uh, a and b so here 0 1 1 0 0 sequence we have to give to energize both these coils so these uh, poles they are activated and the north pole of this rotor will be attracted by these two south pole and south pole of this rotor will be attracted by these two north poles so the stator position is like this so it will rotate through 45 degrees now energize coil b only so here the sequence is 0 1 0 0 that is, uh, that is nothing but the 4 now this north pole of rotor will be attracted by the south pole of this stator and this south pole of this rotor will be attracted by this north pole of a stator so it will move through the 45 degrees and find the or six the uh, stable position now energize coil b and c so the sequence is 0 1 1 0 so here now these two poles are act activated these two south poles of this two stator and north pole of these two stator they are activated so the north state uh, north pole of this rotor will be attracted by these two south poles and the south pole of this rotor will be attracted by these two north poles so it will move through 45 degrees next energize only coil c so the sequence is 0 0 1 0 so the rotor will move through 45 degrees and 6 the uh, stable position now energize coil c and d so the sequence is 0 0 1 1 now the north pole will be attracted by these two south poles and this south pole of a rotor will be attracted by these two north pole and it will move through 45 degrees and find the stable position now energize coil d only so the sequence is 0 0 0 0 1 now this stator will rotate through 45 degrees and next now energize coil d and a so the sequence is 1 0 0 1 that is 9 so the rotor will rotate through 45 degrees and find the stable position and for the eighth step now energize coil a only so the sequence is 1 0 0 0 0 8 so it will now this south pole of this coil a will attract this north pole and the north pole of this stator will attract the south pole of this rotor so it will move through the 45 degrees and complete 360 degree rotation so in this way you know eight different states the uh, stepper motor will rotate to complete one rotation so how far does it move so what is the step angle so step angle is defined as the minimum degree of rotation with a single step and normally it is uh, gives in a degrees so step angle can be find that is 360 divided by number of steps per revolution so here commonly available number of steps per revolution are uh, 500 200 180 or 144 72 48 or 24 so let's uh, take example of a uh, suppose we can say that the uh, steps per revolution are 180 then the number of steps per revolution are or the step angle can be find 360 divided by 180 so the step angle is a 2 degree so here uh, revolutions per minute can be find that is called as a rpm revolution per minute so that can be find using the formula 60 into steps per second divided by steps per revolution so here 
Suppose first coil is energized. So the top electromagnet that is one is turned on and rotating the nearest teeth of a gear shaped iron rotor. So with the teeth aligned to the electromagnet one, they will be slightly offset from the electromagnet two. So here we can say that this is the aligned teeth. So here, when this second coil will energized, so this will rotate through this step angle. So that is nothing but the 3.6 degree in this example. So the top electromagnet 1 is turned off and the right electromagnet 2 is energized, pulling the nearest teeth slightly to the right. And this results in a rotation of a 3.6 degree in this example. So here we can see that it is moved through step 1. Now if the coil 3 is energized, so the bottom electromagnet 3 is energized, so another 3.6 degree rotation occurs. So again this uh, tooth will move through 3.6 degree towards right. And if the electromagnet 4 is enabled and rotating again by 360 degree, when the top electromagnet 1 is again enabled, the teeth is in the uh, sprocket will have rotated by one tooth position. Since there are 25 teeth, it will take 100 steps to make a full rotation in this example. So in this way, uh, we can find the RPM. So here to interface this stepper motor with a microcontroller, we are using the ULN 2003A driver. Why we are using this? A stepper motor consumes a current of a 0.1 to 1 ampere during step rotation with the load. And 88951 produces or uh, 8051 microcontroller that produces a maximum current of a 0.05 ampere through the ports and it is very low. So therefore the pulses sent from port 2 are not sufficient to turn or uh, to run a stepper motor. Hence we cannot directly interface stepper motors with the microcontrollers like uh, 8051 or uh, 88951 microcontroller. So there are two solutions to this problem. One to use the motor driver like uh, L2390 and to use current amplification IC like a ULN 2003A. So to overcome the stepper motor's power constraint, we need an external power source that can drive heavy loads and supply enough power for the operation of the stepper motor. So ULN 2003 takes low power input and outputs a, sig a signal that with a greater power. So here is the stepper motor interfacing with the 8051. So here we are actually interfacing the stepper motor through this ULN 2003 IC. And here this is nothing but the 805 in. So this is port 0, port 2, port 3, port 1 they are given. These are the PSEN, ALE, EA pins are given. This is reset pin and this is crystal, crystal 2, crystal 1 and crystal 2 pins where crystal is connected. Here 24 megahertz crystal is connected through this to uh, 22 picofarad capacitors. Here VCC pin is connected to 5 volt. Uh, here ground pin is connected to ground. Now here port 0 and port 3 they are and port 1 they are not connected. This stepper motor is connected to port 2 through this IC. So here are the four terminals of this stepper motor A, B, C and D. Pin number 9 is connected to common and uh, here these are the inputs of a stepper motor. So here is the program for a full step one phase on program for a wave drive. So here uh, our first instruction include uh, include to her header file that is reg 5 and dot h. Uh, here is the function we have uh, defined void delay that is unsigned it. End. Here is the main program. So we have to move this stepper motor continuously. So we are using while loop. So and we have to just send the sequence that we have find in previous slides. So we have find the sequence for this one phase on that is 1, 2, 4 and 8. So here just move the sequence to the port 2 that is connected to stepper motor and then call the delay after sending each step. So here we are just sending the sequence 0, 0, 0, 0001 then 0, 0, 0010 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, that is nothing but a 1, 2, 4 and 8. 
and here delay function here this call this delay so here uh, we have defined the in, uh, inside it int x and its for loop is used so this x will have the value that is available over here and this will uh, this uh, these two for loops they will execute and we get the delay over here similarly for a uh, full step two phase on sequence again the same program is there but we have to just change the sequence so the sequence that we have find in a previous slide for a full step two phase that is 3 6 c 9 so you can give that sequence to the port 2 and give the delay so you can rotate the uh, stepper motor for the full step two phase on method now here is the program for a half step again the same program is there uh, void delay function is defined over here this is the main program and while loop while one loop is there to uh, rotate this stepper motor continuously now give the sequence that we have find for a half step that eight different step that is one three two six four twelve that is nothing but the uh, c and uh, eight and nine so give that sequence and give the delay between these uh, steps to rotate the motor for a half step mode so this is the assignment that is given for this uh, topic solve the assignment thank you